And black and white film isn't something I ever really thought lent itself to my style of photography. But after I looked back and did some tinkering with some old digital photos, I fell in love just a little bit with the ambience of the photos. I posted this photo to Reddit for some critique, and someone said it looked like Kodak Triax, so I knew I wanted to try some Triax. Only one problem, my local Jessup sh shut its doors for the last time earlier this year. The only camera shop in my city didn't sell Triax, and I'm not about to buy it from an online store either. No, looks like once again I have to settle for the chat alternative. This time it's called HP5. I feel like there are some film stocks that get a lot of hype. The big three would be Portra, Cinestill, and HP5. Is the hype warranted? Ah, it depends. If you don't go in with the expectations of being blown away by the results, then the results might just do that. But if you go in with high expectations, then expect an experience a little bit like my school reports. A disappointment. Fortunately for me, I had just been let down by Portra 800 a couple of weeks before, and so you know I was salty with the film gods known as negative feedback and grainy days. And I was ready to pack my bags and return to digital, but I thought I'd try one last film stock. So here are some of my favorite shots that I got with uh, HP5. HP5 is supposedly a very clean film, lacking in the contrast where compared to Kodak Triax. The grain is of very nice quality, very fine. I shot all of these photos in my home city of Canterbury at about 9pm in late June, and now I'm making a video on it nearly a month later. Yikes. Nearly two, two months later, I made a script error there. Yikes. I guess one of the benefits of HP5 over Triax is it's a lot more malleable. If you decide a particular photo needs more contrast, you can just punch a little bit more contrast in post. Maybe I'll get the chance to compare the two soon, but for now, sit back with a cup of your favourite beverage and enjoy the photos I got. Shown in chronological order, because I'm cool like that.
So, after this video, will I run back crying to the photographic Satan known as Digital? Probably not. I still really love Sinistil, and I think HP5 is a lot more flexible. But I don't use film to be flexible. I want to experience Triax before I use another roll of HP5. If you're the kind of person who shoots film and enjoys editing photos to get the exact look you're looking for, and you want to shoot black and white, then maybe HP5 is for you. Otherwise, it's a solid film, but I don't have much to compare it to as Jessup's lost my last two rolls of FP4 that I shot while I still lived in Portugal eight months ago. Damn you, Jessup's. How dare you lose it. In the description of this video, I've added timestamps for each photo along with a name for the photo. Maybe tell me your favourite in the comments below and we can have a chat about it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. Handles are on screen for both Twitter and Instagram. Lastly, I want to thank you for checking out this episode of a broke film student reviewing a film role that many more qualified people have done before him. Be sure to stick around for more high quality and frequent photographic videos. That's all from me, now be sure to stay subscribed and stay tuned for future uploads. Like, damn girl, you kind of fine. Oh my god, that's not gonna make it into the final edit. <laughs>